Hi guys, Colsey, and today uh, this is going to be a little how-to video on how to install and set up Touch Portal, which is sort of a free alternative to like having a stream deck for using while streaming or while you're just being productive on your computer and you're doing just normal things. There are plenty of different things you can set up to make it more helpful while you're being productive or especially while you're streaming and it very much takes the place of a stream deck but it's actually an app you can get on your phone. So anyway, if you want to know a little bit more about Touchball, go check out the video in the description where I will explain a little bit more about it. This video is actually more just how to set it up and how to get it working. So if you want to find out a little bit more on actually what it is and how it works and what you can do with it, uh, then go check the link in the description and check out the other video that I made mentioning it. What you're gonna need is, first of all, you're gonna need to download the Touch Portal app from the App Store. It's pretty simple. If you just search Touch Portal, you'll be able to find it. So now that we have the app, let's open it up and see what it says. So welcome to get started. We need to make a connection to your computer. Blah, blah, blah. We need to download the desktop software from the website. Right, okay. So now we'll jump onto the PC. So this is Touch Portal website. It's touch-portal.com. Touch it does actually tell you on the app as well. So if we scroll down, and we keep scrolling. Um, get started, download, install, and start the desktop app for Windows or Mac. So depending on what you have, personally I have a Windows, so we're gonna click Windows. So we now have it open, so it says you're using the free version. Now there is a, uh, I believe a paid version. I'm, uh, I can check the website actually, see how much it is. It's not that expensive, 9.99. So that's not too bad, and that just gives you a few more things. Um, but today I'm just gonna be showing you using the free version. Now that we have, uh, this installed on the PC. We can go back to the app, right? Yep, uh, welcome, yep, done that, install software. Once you've downloaded the software, you can install it. After the installation, to start the application. You will see a window, yep. So now we need to connect it. So to connect it, um, on the app, we need to enter the IP address and the port number that we are shown at the bottom left, which I have blurred out, but I will point to. Um, you need to enter those into the app. So I'm just gonna enter mine, and now it is connected. So now these two are now linked. You'll be able to see here. Um, I can't actually see, but it's the same thing. So let's get on to how we add stuff, right? So if we click on here, we're gonna create a button. Now I haven't done any of this before. This is just my first run because I wanted to like show you how simple it was from somebody that's not done it themselves to, you know, you guys that wanna do it. So, right, let's just do, let's try and open Steam with it, shall we? Right, let's try from icon packs. Okay, so obviously you can import your own images. So, I mean, I probably could find the Steam one. Now this isn't great, but it works, I guess. So background color, don't need that. Rounded corner, makes no difference. Text, I mean, I don't really want text, really. I guess we have to have it. Or maybe we don't. Let's change the text color to black. To blue. To orange. Doesn't really matter. It's there. I can probably get rid of it. Right, so actions. So, here we go. So once you set up what you want it to, you know, the image and stuff that you want it to have, now then you add an action. So you press this little plus here. Uh, start an application, which is, that's what we're gonna do in this case, but there's plenty of other ones. Key press, timer, open URL, type text, audio, play audio, stop audio, Windows function, OBS. So, so anyway, we wanna start an application. So application path. So we're gonna have to find Steam. So I'm gonna guess that Steam is in Steam. But I could be wrong. I guess it's steam.exe. I guess that is correct, so. There we go. So what we've done is we've created a button with the title Steam. Uh, I just downloaded an image, so you could do whatever you want, but I downloaded an image to use as the Steam thing. Uh, the text, slightly annoying. Kind of wish the text wasn't there because that makes the button look ugly, but there we go. And then I've added the action to start the application, steam.exe. So if we save that, then we have a button here. So now hopefully this should, if we go back onto my Phone. Now what should happen is I click the refresh button and it shall refresh the page and now I have Steam. So if I click on Steam, 
it opens up on my PC, Steam. And that was just by me clicking this button here. That's a very basic way to set it up. Uh, you can do a lot more things with it, like I've said. You can have a lot more buttons that you add. You can have a lot more things that you do with these buttons. Type text, open URL, Windows functions. So type text might be useful um, if while you're streaming and you wanna have specific things you put in the chat, like a link to your YouTube channel or a link to your Twitter or whatever, then you could have that already typed in there. You just click a button on your phone and, and there we go and then it's sorted. It's pretty good actually. It's a lot, I gotta say, it's a lot easier to set up than the last one I spoke about. So anyway, that's how you set it up. Uh, if there's any questions, please let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think. I just think it's a good alternative to Stream Deck. Like I said, if you want a few more details about it, then go watch my other video. The link will be in the description where I talk more about this and about some of the other options available to you if you don't want to buy a Stream Deck. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!